We all remember sitting back and relaxing, back before school was a thing in our lives, and just enjoying our favorite shows on channels like Nick Jr., Cartoon Network, PBS Kids, and much, much more. And, well, today, I'll be talking about a show that originally aired in Australia from 2003 until 2007, and also aired in the UK as well as the US. For myself personally, this series aired on the Disney Channel morning block of Playhouse Disney, which was a time block Disney had before being changed to Disney Junior. This was a time block run by Clay, everyone's favorite yellow clay ball. Anyways, it was on Playhouse Disney that the show we'll be going over today aired on. So without further ado, who are the Koala Brothers? If you're in trouble and you need someone to help you out, there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout. Hey, 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 help is on its way. Call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, help is on its way. If you grew up around the same time as myself, you'll probably remember this Playhouse Disney series. Or if you're from the UK, it aired on CBeebies. And if you're from Australia, it aired on ABC Kids. This series followed a pair of koalas named Frank and Buster, who would always help their friends in the Australian outback. This series, unlike most at the time, didn't really portray a good character with a bad one with such an example as Dora the Explorer. Dora and Boots are good, Swiper is clearly in the wrong. The Koala Brothers never had anybody in the wrong. Nobody was the bad guy. The series didn't really need a bad guy. The show's goal wasn't to try and show kids right from wrong. Instead, it was meant to show them how to help others and how to meet new friends. For instance, Frank and Buster would help their friend Lolly, who drives an ice cream truck, because it broke down, or to help George, the mailman, find what he likes because for the first time in his life, he has no mail to deliver, or to help show Archie the alligator that not all heroes wear capes. The series really was something special, and I believe that had it been an actual Disney-owned property, it would have been a massive hit in the United States. But because of it being Australian based, sadly, it wasn't. Honestly, for those who were able to catch an episode, I'm sure it's in the deepest, darkest spots in the back of your memories. I know for a long time I couldn't remember the series, but I could see Frank and Buster in their airplane flying above the Australian outback in my head. And eventually, I found a clip of the show on a YouTube video while trying to be nostalgic and watch old shows from when I was little. The series wasn't hated on, and it was a big hit over in the UK and Australia too. I'm sure plenty of American kids remember who the Koala Brothers are, especially because in 2013, Disney Junior brought it back for just one year, allowing an entire other generation to see why Frank and Buster were an awesome part of so many other kids' childhoods. Sadly guys, this is all I have for you today. This video wasn't meant to give you every bit of information ever on the Koala Brothers. It's meant to allow you to dive into your memory banks and remember you know, who the Koala Brothers were, who Frank and Buster were. Um, it really, you know, it, it's a series I want to do that really helps you remember things, you know, from when you were younger, uh, remember simpler time, and I, I enjoy that. I enjoy remembering these types of things. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below, and if you're looking forward to more content such as this, I have a lot more coming in the future. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that whenever a new video is uploaded, you get notified. So thank you for tuning into Edflix. I'll catch you in the next one.